YouTube, we are back with another video for you guys. Um, if you guys didn't watch the video before this one, man, you guys need to watch it. You know, I got the 1K uh, giveaway. I'm really trying to hit the 1K before January 1st. And even though we don't even hit it, you know, it's still at 1K, man, I'm going to give out um, some car audio product. Um, so far, I gave a choice between a double din, an amp, car audio tools or maybe uh, like a two tens and a box or something like that and no matter where you guys are at you know I will ship it out to you guys so don't think that you know you're not gonna get it or you have to be local and I'll ship it all, all that stuff out to you guys um, so yeah all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button and you know join the the trap house and let's get the this giveaway going but for today's video look baby right here the SS with the cram in it man that thing is dirty ever since I got my new truck I ain't even been driving this thing and my truck's out here I'm really happy I just put this uh this tag from Mexico from the part where we're from from Tamaulipas not the motos right there on the border next to Brownsville man that tag it goes hard man I gotta wash this truck so it looks really good. But for today's video, we are actually gonna get started on this guy right here. We're actually gonna clean this thing all out. They got so much stuff in here, look at this stuff. Good thing the dash is already out, we're good. Um, we needed to clear up some weight. The door panels are off, so we need to clear up some weight. And we need to clean out a lot of this stuff inside here and throw it away because it will be unused. And we need to clear it out. So you start to slowly start getting it. Like you said, I need to start ordering shocks for it. This didn't want to stay up. So we definitely need to order some shocks. We need to clean this out. My old dash was in there, collecting glass. All that stuff. So we definitely need to clean this stuff out today. We have speakers, all kinds of stuff. Um, yeah, because I want to officially start working on this bad boy, man. The 10 that's are probably blown. An 8 that's probably messed up. My thing. This is behind the scenes of the car audio stuff. Not too bad, you know, just some fiberglass mat so it wouldn't be flimsy. But yeah, my goal is to probably put, take out the back seats, all that, so it's gutted. I don't know what I'm going to do with these panels. I'll probably blacken everything out, black the, the top. Get some black these, just so it keeps it somewhat cool looking. Then we're going to change up the carpet, put it all black. I do want to take these speakers out and just do metal plates, but this looks pretty cool, I think, you know. I just want that raw, bare, metal look, so it's really lightweight, so we can fly. And I am going to be dropping this truck. Um, we're going to be rocking the wheel, these, these for right now, but I'm going to get new tires put on them, although these tires are pretty good. I wonder if this truck would even drive if I drop it. Um, We'll see. I'm going to try to order the drop kit probably this week. Uh, and then I am actually waiting for this guy to call me back and let me know what's good on this 5.3. He said he was going to try to have it ready this week. But when I get the 5.3, I'm not going to slam it in just yet. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, whatchamacallit. Slowly clean it up. Put new spark plugs in it. Do like refreshing the motor up. Um, really just so I can get a feel of doing motor work. And being a little bit more hands-on motor mechanic wise because and honestly I I know a little bit about motor stuff um, but hands-on like I'm not that guy yet you know what I'm saying play this stuff but I will get the car I will take everything out of it but motor wise you know I don't know yet guys this thing has full AC so I'm thinking about keeping the AC on it but I just have to go get the uh, um, the tubing because I took the tubes out from here to put it in my truck because I think I threw my stuff away whenever I uh, put my factory dash back on. And look, I need to get a new. I just need to put the key pass back on here so it'll work. I think it's right here. Let's put it in. Let's see. Okay, so I took the uh, one part of my dash that I had that was messed up. This beater can be garbage too. This thing's about done for this. These are my favorite mids right here. The 10 inch Delta. Thank you. 
10 inch delta. This is like the best mid that there is in the game. But that one's blown up. I think I was using that one for like a template or something like that. So let's get some more stuff. I really hate throwing out this console. I probably won't throw it away. I'll probably just keep it and just uh, use it for display when I open up this car shop. But it is pretty clean. Uh, I guess. We'll just throw it away. We'll just build another one. Shout out to my dad, man. He's the one that helps me paint a lot of the stuff. Yeah, man, with the paint gun. There's no joke, but this is actually Joko paint. You know, all the stuff that's painted in my truck is Joko paint. I feel like the Joko paint for car radio stuff is a lot better because it will not crack. For one, because it's made to be in the sun. And when you actually do fiberglass with real deal paint, I feel like it will crack. You know what I'm saying? Or not crack, unless it is like super strong. Oh, I can actually cover some of this stuff. Get on out of here. Alright, so let me clean out some of this stuff real quick and I'm gonna get back to the camera. Now I'm just gonna actually just take this garbage. Just was going back and forth. Good exercise, man. There's a lot of stuff I gotta be carrying back and forth. Look at this, what I put right here. That's probably like a uh, $1,500 console. And that's probably at least like $400 worth of uh, side dashboard. Good speaking. But yeah, man. Hopefully, uh, this dude hits me up about this motor this week and I can start working on it. And I don't know, I think we're just going to do a 5.3 and um, just build it up, man. You know? Get something. Have a little. New some new fun, but I was selling it. It was nine hundred dollars, but uh, we're just gonna go ahead and keep it, man. Like I said, this truck means a lot to me in reality, so we're not gonna give her up just like that, guys. Hell no. The speaker, the speaker, are still good. Could be used or something. She's gone. Look at CD. Little baby when it first came out. Pen, I could probably use a pen. Pen's always last forever. Yeah, this speaker's garbage. This speaker's garbage. Holding it. That tree is probably good, so we're gonna salvage that. We're going to need that, although we really don't need it because we can just hook up relays to the windows like I have been doing because right here I'm going to do a, um, a, a little panel for all the stuff so we can stop each other. So, well, baby, you got to ride, huh? My Cadillac headrest where my son kicked out. More shop rags. We're going to actually wash all these bad boys in a little bit. Alright, so let me clean out some more of this truck and I will get back to you guys. Way cleaner than what it was, man. Look at this thing. Look at that. I'm gonna give this to my son. He'd like that. He's crazy sometimes. So we cleaned out a majority of the stuff on this side. These shop rags, I'm actually gonna put them over there real quick because I am gonna wash them. Man, I want to get that truck going. Hopefully, uh, we can have that thing running by February or everything goes good. Man, so subscribe to the channel. Look, my mom went to Mexico, so she came and parked the truck over here. Tahoe, man. Chevy gang out here all day. Look at it. Chevy there, Chevy there, 
Chevy there, Chevy there, and a Dodge Ram van over there. That's my dad's van too, but man, I kind of don't want him to throw it away because I could actually drop a motor in that thing. Probably do like 2412s in that motherfucker. You know, make that bitch stupid loud. Like, I've never had a competition SPL vehicle, and that'd be a perfect one. Imagine putting the big mousetrap logo on that thing with like 2412s in that motherfucker. And that thing being stupid loud. So, big things could come, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Enter that giveaway, man. Get that radio. Definitely get that, that radio. Everybody, for some reason, wants to do the radio, which is pretty nice to have. A nice little Bluetooth piece. Nice Kenwood radio or a Pioneer. <clears throat> Everybody's definitely leading to that uh, double den radio. Shit, I would too. Look, I even got a Pioneer right here. Like, double den that was in here. Still in good condition, probably. Man, there was a big pile of bees in here at one point. All right, I think that's good enough for working. Clean her out today. I really needed to clean that stuff out. Yeah, man, subscribe to the channel, man. Enter that giveaway. You never won nothing if you don't enter. And all you gotta do is enter to hit that subscribe button, man. Simple as that. Very simple as that. All right, guys. So I just want to touch base on what we're gonna do with that truck. I want to clean it out. Let you guys see that we soon get an on her. The next video I'll probably drop on it is man getting that motor for that thing man. And I hate to say I hate to see this console go. But man, fuck it. Out with the old 2021 in with the new 2022 man. Big blessings coming up. We're gonna grind even harder this year and pump it up man. So subscribe, join the giveaway, and thanks for watching guys. Peace.